lot of technique that goes into it, but you also have to be a person who's willing to get punched in the face because you're going to get punched in the face a lot. Like that's not going to be something that you escape from. Mm -hmm. So I prefer to learn through trial and error. Like if I, like if I'm in a specific moment where I get hit, I know I'm not doing that mistake again, so on and so yeah. forth. So, I mean, I don't think I'll be fully comfortable until I, I, until, yeah, until I'm around where I would be going pro. I don't think I, I don't think I'm going to be comfortable. And even then I'm going to have to shoot even higher than that. Yeah. I think that's, you know, kind of also healthy what you're saying too. Obviously once you get the worst thing they say when any person getting creative or person uh, trying to train for something is getting comfortable. Cause where do you have to go from there? So I, that, I think that's important to, to note is that you're still working on it and, you will, you know, once you become pro and, and stuff like that, that I think that's an important aspect you pointed out. And also, so one of the other things you mentioned is, you know, getting punched in the face. We all know the famous Mike Tyson quote, everyone has a plan until they get punched in the face. And as you mentioned, some of the, you know, ways physically you've learned to avoid these things and getting jabbed. What other things would you say, like, if uh when it comes to getting ready you will get punched in the face and you're pursuing this i mean it's virtually impossible do you would you say it's like you know it's not as bad as it seems you or it shows that you need to train better so you avoid these headaches and stuff what would you say to somebody who needs to know hey you're gonna get punched in the face um, I feel like they just truly have to accept the fact that they're going to punch in the face. Because if you're pursuing the sport of boxing, if you want to be a boxer, for example, think about think about all the champions. Ali knocked out cold. You know I mean, Mike yeah. Tyson, Mike Tyson knocked out clean. Uh, so on and so forth. You know I mean, I the only person to never lose. Uh, I mean. Floyd Mayweather, yeah, uh, you know, there's everyone's getting knocked out cold. You see out, uh, you see all the boxers' noses. I mean, Canelo lost. Yeah, I mean, Canelo, yeah. Canelo lost once to Floyd and also got knocked down before. You know, I mean, Lomachenko, one of the, the best footwork of all time, looks like he's dancing in the ring. He yeah. he got he got he got touched up and brutalized by Tiafimo Lopez. You know, what I mean, like mm -hmm. you're gonna get punched in the face. I feel like. You, sh you, you show a person boxing matches where greats, where um, they are greats, like the people who they perceive that they want to pursue after. Like if your role models, Mike Tyson and Muhammad Ali, right? You have to see them getting knocked out. You have to see, because if you're shooting to be like them, you have to accept that even they're, they're getting punched in the face too all the time. And you have to, you have to, you just, you just got to get punched in the face. <laughs> yeah, not fair. Is. At the end of the day, you just got to get punched in the face. I think that's what it is. Like, mm -hmm. if for a person who's scared of it, get them in the ring real quick. Uh, tell them to put their gloves up real quick and just go at them from the sides. And then eventually just let them drop their hands and then take a few bare ones, not hard, and then show them that it's just a punch. It is, I mean, the human body can go through way more than anyone perceives that it can. It's, yeah. It's, it's wonderful. That really fascinates me what the human body can deal with.